Well, hi, this is Coach Kevin McCarthy with part two of the series on swim fins. And what I'm going to tell you today in about five minutes is how I came to be involved in swim fins and love swim fins and use them when I'm in the pool, use them when, when I'm in the ocean, whether I'm lap swimming, whether I'm body surfing, whether I'm kneeboarding, bodyboarding, whether I'm snorkeling, I use swim fins all the time and I just love them. But let me tell you how all this started. So I was eight years old and my parents got me a pair of swim fins for my birthday. And this is back in about 1963, a long time ago. And the swim fins were very stiff, out of a plasticky kind of rubber, really stiff and uncomfortable. And they had metal buckles on the sides and an adjustable strap on them. Um, I tried them and they felt pretty uncomfortable, but when I tried them in the water, and went, went underwater with them with goggles on, um, I could just zoom around in the shallows of the La Habra High swimming pool in Southern California at eight years old. And I just felt like a dolphin and it was amazing. Um, so I swam underwater with them, I swam on the surface, and they allowed me to go into deeper water that I normally wouldn't go into. So I fell in love with these swim fins and I wore them for probably two to three years. And until, my feet just got too big for the fins. I adjusted the straps out as far as they'd go, but my feet actually got too big for the pocket that your foot fits inside on those swim fins. So I remember wearing those up to about the age of 12 maybe, and just couldn't fit them in, in them anymore. Um, I seem to be the only one in my family with six other brothers and sisters that had a pair of swim fins. So I felt very honored and I grew out of them or gave them to my younger brothers. But one day, a few years later, I was on the beach with the family and I noticed somebody riding waves unbelievably like the surfers do, kind of parallel to the beach and staying ahead of the white water in, in the curl. Um, but this person um, wasn't on a surfboard and they were just zooming across the waves. And so I was watching them and watching them and I was fascinated. And when they got out of the water, I noticed they, he got out and he reached down and he um, slipped a pair of swim fins off his feet. And I'd never hit, seen swim fins with um, this type of heel strap before. And I talked to that young man who was a few years older than me. As I said, I was about maybe 12, uh, 12, 13. And uh, he was like 16, 17. Uh, but he told me about a pair of swim fins called, at the time, um, Churchill swim fins, which were originally designed for scuba diving and skin diving and snorkeling, but more body surfers were starting to wear them. And I didn't even know what body surfing really was back then, but I was watching this kid. And so I went out and got a pair of these fins, and they were much more comfortable than the fins that I had grown up with as a little kid. But I'd noticed that um, they still weren't comfortable enough. And they didn't seem to have enough power for, for me anyway. So um, I just became a regular user of swim fins, but just started to think in my mind about how swim fins could be better and thought of those experiences when I was very young and then thought of those experiences as a teenager wearing those Churchill swim fins, which I loved very much, but they still gave me cuts around my ankles and really wore on me hard and were uncomfortable in that regard and didn't quite have the power that I was looking for. So. I started actually, once I got out of college, I started developing swim fins myself just because I couldn't find out, couldn't find something out there that I really liked. So now that's been a while and I've been developing swim fins for about 40 years and for a number of companies. And um, it's the athletic footwear for your feet in the water. And um, it's a natural thing. And I would advise all of you young and old swimmers to um, wear swim fins while you're swimming laps, um, while you're in the pool, while you're in the ocean, while you're in a lake, for three big reasons. As I said before in the first uh, segment, uh, they increase your safety in the water by about 25 to 50 percent. Um, they make swimming easier. You ride higher on the water, so they make it makes breathing easier as you turn your head to the side or come up for air. Um, and then also you can kind of control your your, your height in the water very easily, and even have your hands free to do other things, play a game, um, have other kinds of fun in the water with your friends. 
And so it makes it safer, it makes it easier, but also makes it a lot faster. You, if you are gonna swim a distance, you can explore further with more confidence and more safety. And the lifeguards on the beach will just love you for that. So that's, this is segment two. Come back for segment three on swim fins and we'll talk about some more technical aspects of swim fins and what to look for if you go out and get a pair of swim, fin, swim fins for yourself. So thanks for watching and hope you come back for the next segment. Take care.